So if you've ever wanted to make the most perfect pulled pork, I've got your recipe right here. This is juicy, char on the outside, absolutely delicious. As long as you have a slow cooker or a crock pot, I've got gotcha. you. Let's get started. So the first step is to rub down our pork. So follow these ingredients, mix them well to make your rub. Once your rub is made, go ahead and literally rub it all over the pork. After you've got all of the rub on there, it should be pretty thick. We're gonna stick it in the fridge for a few hours. Overnight is what I usually do, but at least six to eight hours is ideal. And then we can start to cook. So we need a cast iron skillet on medium high heat until it starts to smoke. We don't need any oil or anything. We're going to go ahead and place our pork into the skillet so we can give it a nice sear. I'm going to let this sear for a few minutes and then flip it over on all sides to sear all the sides of the pork to give it a really good crust. And then So the next step's the easy part. Um, I have sprayed down my huge crock pot. This is a six pound piece of pork pot, so I need a big crock pot, it barely fits. I'm gonna turn it on to low, and then we're gonna let it cook for about seven hours, or until it tears apart with a fork and it's 190 degrees internally. The only other thing I like to do to add a little extra flavor is I like to add two or three tablespoons of minced garlic just to the very top of the pork. And those flavors, let's do three, because this is a lot of pork. Those flavors are just going to infuse as this cooks all day. And we'll see this baby in about seven hours. So after seven hours, I have taken out all I can from the slow cooker and it's falling apart. Uh, all I'm going to do here is kind of Take everything off the bone with a fork or two, and that's all you have to do. I mean, this pulled pork is going to be tender, juicy, amazing. It's awesome, and I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 